going on guys girls and anything else that's watching uh, I'm gonna show you how to go up a hill a very large hill um, in the heat right now it is 88 degrees it was 93 but I've been going up a little bit um, but for company drivers, you know, it's it's no big deal. Who really cares, right? Uh, for owner operators and people wanting to keep their equipment in good running order, um, this is what I have found works for me. I got almost 800,000 on this bad boy, and uh, I've been doing some testing on keeping the temperature down while going up a hill. So this is how my truck does it. I don't know how your truck will. Um, but just thought I'd show you. Okay, so we're climbing up a hill on I-80 heading up to Park City. Um, as you can see right now, my temperature is climbing. Just trying to pass these trucks here that are going super slow. Um, so even though I can punch it right now and probably pick up speed, I'm not going to, I'm going to keep it at about 1200. Um, as you can see, she's climbing, the fan just kicked on. Um, so what is she sitting at about? She's going down now. So I'm at a thousand. I'm going to go ahead and drop down to eighth gear and I'm going to keep it at about 12 1250 and cruise control now keep an eye on the boost the lower the boost the less fuel you will use I like to usually keep it at around 20 but I'm going up the one of the high sides of the hill um, as you can see sorry steering wheels in the way temperature is holding steady boost now I could actually uh, you know floor it right now get some more boost but more energy uh, more heat and the harder your engines actually working right now I'm staying at about 21 22 climbing up a little bit um, temperature went up just a little bit more but I'm holding steady at about 31 32 miles per hour um, temperatures holding steady so we're staying at 20 on the boost which is good it's lowering Okay, so I am coming up the hill here. I'm kind of bottoming out to where it's getting a little bit flatter. The truck's not working as hard. As you can see, the temperature is staying. Uh, I believe that's about two, what is it, 205, 210? Let's see. I can give you an accurate reading here. Okay. Engine coolant temp, 208. So we'll keep an eye on that. So right now, we are topped out. There's the boost. Now I'm going to hold it at this speed. The engine's working less. I got another big hill coming up ahead. I'm going to let the engine cool down. And uh, just kind of let the truck, you know, cool down naturally. Um, especially, there we go, we dropped down to 206. Um, especially with the DPF system and everything, you don't, I mean, it's good to keep it up there. Uh, but if you keep it up there too hot, here's the exhaust, it's about 600. Um, now, if I punched it right now and kept my foot slammed to the floor, my temperature would probably be up into the two. Valve range um, going all the way up. Right now, I'm just allowing the engine to 
calm down. I'm going back up again. Here we go. We're going back up. I know you can't really tell with the with the phone, but uh, we got down to 204 from 208. So we're still kind of leveling out. I'm not going to punch it. I'm just going to keep it's a nice, slow, steady pace going up the hill. Uh, the truck does good in eighth gear, going about 32 miles an hour. You can see my boost is very low. I'm pretty much at cruising speed on my boost, which is good. Temperature is holding steady. Back up at 208. And you just kind of keep it like this until you crest the hill. Now, let's say your ball's to the wall and uh, you're going up this hill when you crest the hill, and especially this hill, it's a pretty good downgrade. Um, now you're completely off of your engine and you know, you're, you're gonna rapidly cool down. Well, if you don't get that engine to the max heat while that fan is completely running full blast going up these hills, um, you know, all of a sudden it's like going from hot to cold. Um, it shocks the engine and you could actually blow a head gasket. So another thing, you know, uh, I'm not using as, as much fuel as somebody that's, you know, hauling butt up this hill. My engine fan isn't kicking on. Um, you can see the temperature has dropped very nicely. And I'm starting back up on the, uh, the big grade, the second half of the hill. Um, you can see I'm at 20. But my boost gauge will go up to 35 uh, when I'm pulling a big hill. Um, if I floor it. Now, this, it's going to jump 20 maybe 25 but it shouldn't go above 25. Uh, I just got a guy in front of me that decided to get in front of me and he can't go that fast so I'm going to go ahead and floor it but now my temperature has gone way up because now I have to floor it. This guy here wanted to be in a hurry because he's a Dell weed. So I just passed him. I'm going to bring it back down. All these people were all in a hurry. I'm going to bring her back down. Temperature's holding steady. See, now I'm at 212. I got all these people that were angry at me. Uh, they can't make it up this hill, but these are the these are the jerks that are flying up these hills, and then all of a sudden, um, all these guys passed me. So my fan just kicked in. They pretty much they passed me going up the flat, and now they can't keep up going up this big hill. But so they just pretty much. They just pretty much wasted a bunch of fuel. Um, but th this, that's the problem, guys. You know, everybody's in a hurry. But now I'm sitting at, what is it, about 1,100. So that's even better for me. Temperature, see, we're back down to 208. Anytime you get, I like to stay right at about 12. This guy in front of me must be really heavy, but, you know, he decided to balls to the wall on the, uh, the small incline. Now he can't make it up this big incline. So I'm going to go ahead and pass him because he's being annoying. So now my temperature is going to go up. Now I'm balls to the wall. See the temperature rise? Oh, driver supervisor. That's real nice. Driver supervisor. Driving like an idiot. So we got it at 1400. As you can see, it moved, bumped way up to 
212. I like to keep it below about the 208. So see, it went to 215. I don't like it that high. But It'll come back down. The engine fan's going at full blast, but it'll come back down. Now see, if I didn't have to pass all these idiots that decided to pass me because they're all in a hurry to slow down, um, the highest I probably would have gotten is about 212. And uh, the engine fan might have kicked on full blast maybe once. And you can see it is, I don't know if you can see that, it's 82 degrees outside going up this hill. So we dropped way back down, 208. And this is a pretty good incline. As you can see, I'm staying just above 20 on the boost. This is how I like to climb these hills. So we're going to go ahead and crest. As you can see, we're coming up to the crest, and uh, go ahead and go down this guy. But I just thought I would show, you know, it took me a while to figure out how to climb a hill. You know, everybody's just full blast, slamming on the accelerator and go for it. Well, if you're an owner-operator, you want to keep care of your engine. And... Uh, Going up a hill, this is this is the best way that I've found. Um, if you know any other techniques or you see something, you know, let me know. Thanks for watching.